Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we are going to use the 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple to explore the different trigonometry ratios. Now, with any 3, 4, 5 right triangle, the smallest angle is always going to measure 36.87 degrees, and the second largest angle is always going to measure 53.13 degrees, and of course, we have our right angle, which is always 90 degrees. All right, let's start by exploring a sine ratio. So a sine ratio is really just the line segment of the triangle that is located opposite from our angle that we are looking at. And we're gonna compare that to the length of the triangle's hypotenuse. So let's start by looking at the sine of this angle. So we're gonna write sine of 36.87 degrees is equal to so what we do next is we find the line segment that is opposite of this angle, which is going to be this line segment right here. And that is a length of three. And of course, our hypotenuse length is five. Our hypotenuse is always the longest of the three sides of our right triangle. So if we were to take three fifths and express that as a decimal, that would be equal to 0.6. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a cosine ratio. So we're going to find the cosine of our 36.87 degree angle, which is really just the ratio of the adjacent length compared to the length of our hypotenuse. Now, the word adjacent means just right next to. But if you take a look at this angle right here, there are two lines that actually form this angle. So we could say that the one that is our hypotenuse and the one that is four are right next to this angle. But we know the longest side is the hypotenuse, so it must be this line right here, which is a length of four. We would say that this line is adjacent to this angle right here. So that is going to be our numerator. And of course, the length of our hypotenuse is five. And if we express four fifths as a decimal, that would be equal to 0.8. All right, let us go ahead and take a look at the tangent of 36.87 degrees which is gonna be equal to the line that is opposite of our angle over the line that is adjacent to our angle. So if we go back to this angle right here, the one that is opposite is three. And we know that when we constructed our sign, we see that our numerator was three because that is the line segment that is opposite this angle. So that is our numerator and the line that is adjacent to this angle is four. And if we express this as a decimal, that would be equal to 0.75. All right, let's go ahead and verify these values by using a calculator. All right, so let's start with our sine of 36.87 and hit enter. And if we were to round this value, you can see that to the nearest tenth, that would be 0 0.6, which confirms our results. And if we type in cosine of 36.87 and hit enter to the nearest tenth, we would get 0 0.8. And if we find the tangent of 36.87 and round our value to the nearest tenth, we would get 0 0.75. All right, let's go ahead and determine the sine of our 53.87. 1, 3 degree angle, and also let's determine the cosine of our 53.13 degree angle and the tangent of our 53.13 degree angle. So once again, the sine is just the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse, and the opposite side relative to this angle right here would be a length of 4 and our hypotenuse is five, and four fifths is going to be equal to 0.8. All right, now the cosine of 53.13 is going to be our adjacent length over the hypotenuse, and the line that is adjacent is three, and our hypotenuse is five. And three over five is going to be equal to 0.6. Now the tangent of an angle is the length of the opposite side compared to the length of our adjacent side. So the length of the side that is opposite of this angle right here is four, 
and the length of our adjacent side relative to this angle right here is going to be three. All right, so if we were to convert this to a decimal, well, this is one and one third, so it would be like one point repeating three basically. So we should get something that is right around this value right here. All right, so let's go ahead and verify our results with the calculator. So we're gonna start by typing in the sign of 53.13. And if we round this value to the nearest 10th, that would give us 0 0.8. And if we find the cosine of 53.13 and round to the nearest 10th, we would get 0 0.6. And if we found the tangent of 53.13, we get a result to the nearest tenth of one point repeating three approximately. 